So use joint banders to employ a stretch and not squash the area. Where possible, create space rather than compression around the joints. And um, for example, don't squash the side of the joint you are moving towards, but instead stretch the side of the joint you are moving away from. This can be achieved with the coordinated use of the bandas. For example, when raising the chin, head extension, maintain the length in the cervical spine and in the back of the neck by stretching the front of the neck and not by squashing the back of the neck. So this can be achieved by the Jalarhandra Banda, which involves lifting the chin using the head extensors while bringing the throat slightly forward.